This video will provide instruction on how to properly install a shaft into the torque lock system. This video will describe the components that make up the torque lock shaft system and their functions. We will see how to install a shaft without a shoulder and also one with a shoulder. The unique components of the torque lock include the clamping ring, which holds in place the support bushing on shafts without a shoulder. The support bushing. This support bushing centers the shaft on the opposite side of the shrink disc and helps prevent binding. The shrink disc provides the clamping force that keeps the shaft from slipping or moving with the torque lock shaft. The torque bushing transfers the clamping force of the shrink disc onto the shaft. The animation you are viewing shows how the different torque lock components come together to form a proper installation. This particular depiction is of a shaft without a shoulder. The clamping ring and support bushing are installed before the shaft is positioned into the torque lock shaft. After installing the customer shaft, you will install the shrink disc and then the torque bushing. We will now go through the torque lock installation step by step. It is important to have with you the proper equipment, including tooling and instructions. The first item of interest is a technical note entitled Torque Lock Installation Instructions. You will also need a packet of NOCO assembly paste. You will need one Allen type socket for use with the torque wrench. Having a small bristle brush will aid in spreading the NOCO assembly paste onto the support bushing. Having on hand a metric T handle will make it easier to set up the Allen head screws into the shrink disc. Having a plastic or rubber headed dead blow hammer Finally, a torque wrench for tightening all the fasteners to the proper torque spec is required in order for a proper installation. The very first step in installing a torque lock is a very important one. You should clean all of the components with a degreasing agent. This step is critical for the torque lock to work properly. For shafts without a shoulder, a clamping ring is utilized. Make sure that the clamping ring is placed on the shaft in the proper direction with the bore step facing towards the reducer. Slide the support bushing onto the shaft. The support bushing should fit into the clamping ring. Apply the NOCO assembly paste to the support bushing. Spread the paste evenly over the entire surface of the support bushing. Install the shaft into the reducer. For shafts with a shoulder, there is no clamping ring so only the support bushing is used at this time. Again, apply the NOCO assembly paste onto the support bushing. Install the shaft into the reducer. You will now need to identify the unit type and size from the nameplates found on the reducer. Using this information and the torque lock installation instructions, locate the proper torque amount for the clamping or retaining ring. Ensure that all of the bolts are loose on the shrink disc. This allows for ease of installation onto the torque lock shaft. Slide the shrink disc onto the torque lock shaft until it rests against the shaft shoulder. Next, install the torque bushing. Gently tap the torque bushing until it is seated. 
In a clockwise direction, hand tighten the shrink disc bolts until the bolt head touches the shrink disc. Do not over tighten. Using the unit type information and the torque lock installation structures again, locate the proper torque amount for this unit. Again, only tighten in a clockwise pattern. You will repeat this process until all bolts hold the proper torque amount. As a caution, do not tighten in a pattern as shown. Going across from each bolt will bind the shrink disc and prevent the transmission of the clamping force to the shaft. To verify the installation, check for the following errors. Ensure that there is clearance between the torque lock shaft shoulder and the clamping ring. Also make sure there is clearance between the shrink disc and the torque bushing. The shrink disc halves should be parallel or even when fully tightened. Unevenness is a sign of improper installation. There needs to be clearance between the shrink disc halves. If there is not, this is a sign that the torque bushing is not seated properly. As with everything, safety is of the utmost importance. Always ensure that the torque lock cover is installed before putting your equipment into service. For more information on this product and other training programs, please visit our website at www.sewurodrive.com.